Another beautiful sunrise means another uh, wonderful day of catching ooh, abyssal yeah, horrors. But before we do that, there's one more thing we have to do for the lady in the fort, and that's to sail over to this abandoned research post so we can pick up the prototype parts that were left here because that should mean there's something good for us. So let's sail on back and give them to her. And I'm sure you saw, we still have the dog. Apparently the researcher was the only person that you could give him to. So that just means that he's our little buddy for all time. I'm getting to find a name for him, but that'll happen later. Right now, let's hand her the research parts or the prototype parts. Let me assemble the device. Should I catch some specimens from much greater depths? Ooh, a sampling device and it catches abyssal. But I don't have room for it. I'll put it to storage for now. Developed a repulsion machine, produces bright light, and emits a high pitched noise to deter a creature from attacking? Oh, or enrage it. Ah, uh, well, sure. Connect it to the generator. Okay, I can do that. Install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. Yeah, I figure. Oh my goodness, those are horrors right there. Is that the thing that attacked me? No, it can't be. That thing was much bigger. All right, I'm sure we can do that. But we can't right now, though. I don't have room for that reel. And that is going to be really intimidating once I start to do that, too. And I guess now that I have this trawl net, there's really no reason I can't just pull it behind me forever. Especially when I'm going right through one of these fishing areas right here. Until I don't catch anything. Fine. What do I need for that upgrade to the real spots? More metal and more cloth. And it does it right along the bottom. Interesting. It really doesn't help me out at all. So the dog can stay where he's at. And we'll put the repulsion machine in storage until we can sort that out. But what we can do, though, once we're done with the night, is sail back over to the devil's spine. Because now we can fish in the volcanic spots. Thanks to our wonderful new reel that we got last time. But before we cut straight there, I want to check one more thing back over in this other spot over here. Because there's a lot I won't be able to do over there until I get explosives. And for some reason, I I never talked at this town here. I kind of just parked next to the ruins over there. If this is the town I was looking for, I'm going to feel real dumb right now. It totally is. Oh my goodness. Well, hi there. Oh, you have a dog too. Do you want to see my dog? Do you need help with anything? Trying to prepare a special meal. Okay, having issues. So we need to bring an aged conger eel. Can you tell me where to catch that? Inhabit the hall, the holes and burrows within the cliffs. Okay, they only come out at night as well. All right, can I sell my fish here? I guess not. That's what the merchant is for. So let's see. I think it was a retired whaler that had the explosives. Hey, I heard you used to make explosives. Been thinking about getting back into it? Yep. To clear those debris piles. Yeah, that's the idea. Don't have the energy. I'd have use. I'll think on some more, but make no promises. Okay, well, what then? What do I gotta do? Fine, let's go and get a rotting eel. Gotta fish at night around the cliffs here. Oh, uh, whoa. Okay, don't be too close to the cliffs. They're kind of falling apart. Also, I can't see a thing, so I should be safe for lights. Do these look like eels? Nope, they do not. I just want to fish up some eel. Oh, yep. There's the eyes in the fog. I'm just going to go through here. A boo -boo cliffs. Shaking and shuddering like that. I don't like it. Oh, those things could be eels. They look long enough. Feels kind of safe. I'm going to turn off the light. And we can fish here. So let's see what we can muster. Blackmouth salmon. Okay. Where's the weird one? And I guess I fished here too long and the aberration disappeared. But I also didn't find a single fishing spot for the eels. I'll have to look again. In any case, we can sell what we do have for a casual $99. And then we have one more bolt of cloth for the real space. So we just gotta wait and search again. And I'll just do a little circle so time passes. Okay, that looks like an eel spot. There's a little cave right there. It's definitely nighttime now. So, hello? No, that's a salmon. Unless I have to trawl for it. So let's just turn the light on and start trawling through here. Maybe something will happen. Oh gosh! Oh my! No, 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 no! <laughs> that is, that is not what I signed up for! What the heck? <sighs> That better not be the conger eel. Oh my. Game, that was rude. Look at how much damage it did to my bow and I need to go back. Uh, can I fish here safely? I'm gonna try it. Oh, you look fun. Come in nicely. Ooh, a stonefish. There's also an aberration here, which I would like. And I'm fishing so much, I have to discard some of the fish now instead of just throwing them back. Oh, there it is. Gelatinous stonefish. Interesting. All right, that's all I'm here for. Goodbye. Got to get back to the trader. Duda, duda. Oh, how's the game gonna do? me like that. At least I'm making $67 on two fish. Can you repair my boat, please? It's a $109 repair. Oh my gosh. I need to talk to that lady again. There's no way that's the actual eel. I mean, I could believe it, but I refuse to believe it. Where can I get Chikonger eel? And have it the holes and burrows within the cliffs. Yep. Fished out around the edges. That doesn't tell me anything. Okay, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just spend this day seeing where all the caves are at so I can see where all the possible spots are. Okay, there's one there. Excuse me water spout there's another cave right there i'm really worried too that giant eel popped out of one of these i don't see any more over this way also got to be worried about rocks falling everywhere there's a shiny here oh and there's the eel run away run away run away run away ah okay 
This might be its like little hole where it likes to be. Oh, you are a jerk, aren't you? Are you still following me? Yes, yes you are. Oh, weird, it looks like the string's glowing red when he's chasing me too. That's a good way to know. Ow, hit a buoy. Thankfully, buoys don't damage boats. Oh, boy, you are just the most territorial thing, aren't you? Is that an island I can dock it over there? Yeah, you go away. I don't like you anymore. I also want to know what that, uh, bu -bu -bu shiny gold thing is I could fish for. So, as I think as long as I stay out of that, uh, little hole where he's at, I should be safe. But I just gotta be careful not to venture too far or the wrong way. Well, we still have a bit of time to search so we can come back through here. Let's see, that's where the danger was through there. And uh, cliffs falling apart is also danger, I guess. Hello there. Oh, gosh. There it is. There it is. There it is. Why are you patrolling now? I didn't mean to wake you up. I'm sorry. You are just the biggest jerk right now. Leave me alone. Fine. I'll dock here and then you can't touch me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. I'm done with you. Oh. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it. But I'll just sleep until nighttime so I can search the spots that I know are safe. I think are safe anyway. Have I mentioned how much I don't like this? Okay, these are definitely not eels here. Not even gonna bother. If I just stick to the outside and avoid the inside of the rocks, I should be safe. Ooh, this, these look like eels. Definitely gonna fish here. Yes, there's a conger eel. There's also an aberration. I want it. And oh, there it is, a sprouting eel. Maybe the lady wants to eat some sprouting eel. Okay, thankfully I was able to avoid the monster eel so I can cruise on back safely and then give it to her in the morning. Oh, wait, I can't. I have to wait for it to age or rot. One of the two. So I guess I just gotta hold it for a while. I can't give the merchant the the weird one. So let's see, I wanna keep this one. So I'll sell you this one for 118, wow. And the good news is I never have to do that again. But there is still that magic spot where the big monster is. I guess if I blow up these things, I got shortcuts. Oh yeah, and I did find a metal scrap earlier, so I can get that upgrade. Plug you in right here. Yes, and now get the upgrade for more fishing rod spaces. So if I get two more pieces of metal, I can get the other upgrade right before getting a new hull. The stock here is low, so I might only get one piece out of this, and I can get another. Very good. There we go, just as it gets depleted. I'm feeling kind of confident now I know I can outrun the thing. So let's just go right through here. Okay, let's, uh, there's a gold shiny right in there. There's also more metal right here, and, uh, falling rocks. Gotta move. Okay, so there's the eel over there. It kind of just shows up randomly, it looks like. Actually, no, I think it did come out of that cave before, so maybe it's the same one, and I just gotta be careful about how I approach it. And I can easily outrun this thing. I'm not scared of you anymore, you big bully. And rocks over here so you can't get through there, which is good for me. There's a bottle right there. Why does it always sound like he's right on my tail? It's also kind of eerie the fact that it can travel into town. Oh gosh, water spout. Ow. I didn't see that. And now my light got damaged, so I can't see at all. Doesn't matter. I got what I wanted. I should be more careful. Don't have a limitless supply of repair materials, you know? I don't know. You could have fooled me. But now let's give you the two metal I collected and then $75 fee. Now we have another engine space. And this needs a lot before we can get the next hull upgrade. Okay, now the fish is stale, which is good. And I do have some materials I could put into that. But man, oh man, it needs two of the refined metals? My goodness. Thankfully, you're selling some, but I can only buy one. Uh, not worth it right now. And the eel does fit nicely right here, so I'll leave you like that. And if I reinstall some of these, I can shift some of them around. So you can go here, and now I have more space over here to fit another fishing pole. Hmm, I could do shallow, but that gives me shallow. And I haven't even seen mangroves yet, so I don't need to worry about this line either. And honestly, for space, it fit better over here. Plus, the more we do this, the more time we pass for that, uh, eel. And if we rest in the morning, hopefully it's a as the lady put it. And yep, it's rotting. So now I can give it to her. And these water sprouts are just everywhere. It's annoying. Hello, lady. I have the aged conger eel. Offer you a small sum. Hey, $150. Nice. Hey, have you given more thought to making the explosives? No, there's nothing. Well, what good is that then? Maybe I talk to this guy again because he's the one that told me about it initially. Uh, hey, hermit, your buddy's kind of reluctant. Going to keep an eye out for the family crest who was dragging to the tunnels by that creature. Oh, that's that creature. It's layered somewhere towards the center by the large waterfall. Right. Look there for it, but if it's too troublesome, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, okay, so I just gotta be careful about it. This is not fun. Oh, come on. You're here already? You're so rude. Hey, you know what? Fine. I can outpace you by a lot, which means I should be be able to make my way around this way unless you decide to take tunnel shortcuts which is cheating so yep if i go through here there's absolutely nobody oh gosh you gotta dredge for this uh quickly 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 this is not quick at all this is the slowest dredging i've ever seen family crest got it go 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 i don't know where it is okay uh where is it? I guess I didn't have to worry at all. And then we cruise back to the guy victoriously. Hey there, Herman, I have your family crest. Never thought I'd see it again, uh-huh. Take this to my brother. 
Uh, sure. He would like to come home. So now we got to sail back this way. And then we can talk to the retired whaler again. I believe this crest is yours. And then your brother is sorry. I don't know if I was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. Hey, can stay. Doing that, perhaps you can do some for me. Okay. Trying to clear some debris and the pathways to the cliffs to make a shortcut. Yeah. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed unsteady, so didn't risk detonating it. Just need to get in there and set it off. I have some flags nearby. I can't miss it. Okay. So we have to set off some actual explosives. That'll be fun. Yellow flags. I mean, if I was him, I would send him over here, but it doesn't look like there is. I did see some buoys around that way, but no, that's definitely the shortcut through there. Uh, and it's almost nighttime. I want to do this in the day. Just got to be extra careful about this things. There's the yellow flags. Okay, just gonna cruise on by. And then, pile of loose debris in the gaps. Yep, long fuse. Yes, light it. Light the fuse. Light the fuse. Hey, I did it. I should let the whaler know. Cool. I'm gonna cruise on through here because I can. And I have no idea where the eel is. And then, hey there, I did it. Could hear the blast from here. Yep. Got things ready here. Tell the brother they can come home. Please tell me this means I can get explosives after this. Hey there, your brother's ready to take you back. Packed and ready to go. Okay, yep. Uh, oh, really? How am I supposed to get you in here? Fine. Like that. I wonder if his brother would mind taking a tour around the giant eel. I'm not gonna do that to him. Hey there, here you are. Little brother, you're home. So sorry, yada yada. Whole bunch of bonding and issues. Oh, stranger, if you find any more debris than these, we're gonna make some more packed explosives. Yes. Whoa, this is actually really small. Oh, that's excellent. Hope you can put them to good use. Oh, I definitely can. Oh my gosh, he sells a lot of them. I'm gonna buy the whole stock. Hopefully when I take damage, these things don't blow up. Why don't I put them in storage for now? That seems like a smarter idea. And then I'll quickly sail across the way so I can put the metal piece into the upgrade here. I only needed one, I guess. And now that it's the morning, I can sail on over this way to some of these rocks and start getting explosive with it. Like the fuse, bam, very nice. I'm glad it doesn't blow up my boat. That would be a very bad thing. And it looks like there's also some materials in here too. Whoa, Ooh. this is that uh, ba -ba 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 refined metal. Oh, this is very good. That means I don't have to buy this. This is also like the most difficult dredging. Oh, there's only one. You know what? That's better than nothing. And then I'll just blow this up as well. And kabooya! Hopefully that doesn't disturb the gigantic eel. Or maybe it does. I don't know. What I do know is that there's another pile of explosives over here with some weird sounds happening. And oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Screen's going red. What is that? Oh, the eel decided to visit after all. I'm just gonna wait for you. I can wait. I'm really glad the screen decides to go red as a warning. Otherwise, I'd be getting jump scared every other time. This is supposed to be a fishing game. It's not supposed to be scary. Okay, but now I can blow this up again. Light the fuse. Bam! Very nice. And now, fancy red secrets in here will be mine. It looks like a box of some kind or like a vinyl player, but I'm pretty sure the guy said, yep, a music box. That can go in right there. That is huge. There's also another spot right over here with some jewelry. I will take some of this. Uh, sapphire earrings. Cool. And then we'll slap these explosives in storage for now because I don't need them anymore in this spot, but I can definitely give the merchant over here that refined metal. Any materials I don't have to buy is a good thing indeed because I also have to spend $800 for this upgrade. Goodness gracious. I I wonder if that spot will replenish in the morning. Uh, ooh, is that a research part? I think it is. Oh, I want you. I was expecting this to just be a jewelry spot, but hey, look at that research part. That's what I like to see. And now that we have the music box, we can sail on over this way to the creepy cultist guy that decides to live by himself. And hey, I have a thingy for you. Drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the floorboards beneath it. Oh, found the box. Yes, I did. Found this at the cliffs. Yeah, how'd you know? Excellent. Should make the future return journeys a little more swift. Oh, okay. Okay, he's, he's gonna do some weird Cthulhu magic again. Uh, whispers the words on the page. Oh yeah, da, da, da. feel his stomach drop. Closes the book. Manifest? What does manifest do? Induce a trance-like state. In this state, time will pass in the blink of an eye. Oh, it's a fast travel. Caution against overusing this. Selectively and strategically utilize it. Okay, well that's fun because there is a specific spot I want to go to. Wait, teleport yourself back to where it all began? What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means, but I'm gonna use it. Whoa, up up. Oh, <laughs> well, I, uh, I didn't exactly go anywhere and I got a little crazy because of it. Well, that was an awkward test run and now I have to make this whole journey myself anyway. Oh, while I'm here, I think that upgrade needed four pieces of wood. I don't remember. But now it's nighttime and my guy is starting a little crazy. No worries though, we're right here. So now I can go into the trader, bring in all these trinkets that I found. Sell them for a lot, 138. And then we can start putting research towards something else. Hmm, the refined outboard engine could be good. Two of these together would certainly beat one of these and one of these. Or again, improve trawl on that. I don't really feel a need to right now. So we're gonna get a better engine. And I'm honestly not too sure what the manifest distance is. I'm guessing it teleports you back to where you most recently rested. So that's, ooh, Lighthouse Keeper is waiting. Looking displeased. What do you mean? 
saw you sailing out towards the horizon. Do you really think that's wise? Uh, I mean, it was fine. I was having more problems than the shallow waters. Maybe this time you need to be more careful. Yep, can I truly know the ocean? Yep, I know that. Yeah, four pieces of lumber, I was right. So all of you can go in there. And then I'm also gonna grab one of these explosives again. Ooh, pardon me while I stop and collect a weird fish. Oh, a host eel. That is, that is grotesque. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind the distant ribs cage. Yeah, that's definitely a parasite if I ever saw one. But now we can get to the rocks over here. Oh, that's refined metal right there. This is very good for me because that means I don't have to buy the most expensive upgrade component. Aside from the actual upgrade itself. Very nice. Now, if I could just find a spot where some bolts of cloth were, I'd be all set. I think anyway. Oh no, I don't have enough money. Thankfully, that is easily fixed by just collecting a whole bunch of fish. Ooh, a trophy fish is gonna be worth a lot more. Very nice, like that. I should be safe in the bay. Some squids can fill up the boat nicely. As nicely as they allow anyway. And then we'll go ahead and sell these. Give you the last piece of refined metal. Sell you all the fish for $199. And ooh, I can't resist an aberrant fish. Even though I've seen every single variety of these, I just really like to collect them because they give me so much more money compared to the normal fish. Okay, that's all I want. There's only one more thing that I'm looking for, and that would happen to be right here. Some bolts of cloth, and I just need two of them. Thankfully, two is all this spot gave me. So now we can zip on back. You get to give me some money, and now you get to give me a ship upgrade. Oh, tier three hull complete. Ooh. I'm liking the scheme of our boat now. And how space? Oh, that gives so much space. I love it. And there's so many more upgrades for it too. I don't even know which one to get next. Probably more cargo space or more real spots. Yeah, I think the real spots would be best because then I can move this over here and get some of those other things. There are good things gonna happen in the future for this. But I think that will do it for this video. That was quite the adventure with the giant eel and getting all the explosives that we can use now. And what do you guys think the dog's name should be? Let me know down below in the comments. And thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And I do wanna thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.